I started tearing up reading this story in the book Storyworthy. And it's funny because I just heard the story on video when he was telling the same story at a TED talk. The story goes that he was walking his dog at 2 a.m. in his boxers and he they got caught in a huge downpour of rain just soaking them from head to toe. And he was appreciative of that moment because he realized this might be the last time that he's walking his dog, who's 14 years old and already had surgeries by that point. And when I heard that story the first time, I didn't tear up. I thought that's a sweet story. But something about the extra details in the written story in the book made a difference. In the book, he said that his dog Kaylee was looking at him, tail still wagging in the wet tail in the rain and tongue sticking out and looking all happy. And with that extra added detail, just happy to be with him. I thought that was just such a beautiful moment and also tearing up because it's sad that, you know, he won't really have much time with her after that. And probably the dog is long dead by now. So in that TED talk and in the book Storyworthy, which I just arrived this today, he talks about doing a homework for life. And the homework for life is writing one story from the day in a couple sentences, no matter how mundane, just writing a few words down or a sentence or two about the most important story that happened in the day or the most story worthy story. So I started writing this down today, even though I journal, I realize that I don't journal all the most impactful or story worthy parts. My journals are more like logging where I just log what I do and things I heard. Maybe sometimes things I'm thinking, but not that often. It's more like a log of what I did. So I think in addition to journaling every day, sitting down for a couple minutes at the end of the day and writing story worthy stories at the end of the day, I think is a great addition. So I have an Excel spreadsheet on Google spreadsheets, homework for life. Today is day one and I wrote down, I teared up today when I read about Matthew Dix and his dog who got caught in the rain, but the dog was still happy and looking at him with pure joy. Well, they while they were soaking wet. One of the things that I tried to implement that I learned is that Matthew Dix, the author said, start from the end as much as possible. So don't start your story from the very beginning, start as late as it possibly can be. So that's why I said that I was tearing up, trying to get straight to the point instead of saying, well, I sat down with the book story worthy, which just arrived today and to, like, cut that all that boring crap out and go straight to the meat of it. So this is my journey of becoming a better storyteller and I hope it continues to improve as I practice and as I collect more stories throughout the day and tell you these daily stories if I decide to tell a daily story in my videos. I think this book will be time very well spent. I actually might get the audiobook on top of it because he is such a great storyteller that I might just enjoy listening to all these stories as well. So I've only read a little bit, just half of one chapter, but it's pretty good so far and I am not disappointed at all. This is highly recommended if you want to improve your storytelling as well. And also watching the TED talk and starting your homework for life. Today I also made an extra video which I didn't want to do but I am proud that I got it done so kudos to me for doing it. See you tomorrow 1% better every day baby. Mochi's keeping me company while I'm trying to make my video. Take it. Watch it.